I know what you're thinking. What? How do I become a bus driver? Is it something you really want to do? Yeah. Well, I think I'll explain to you. Okay. First things first, contact a bus company. Arriva. Arriva, Yorkshire Tiger. And submit an application. If you've already got a Category D on your licence and a CPC, then it's quite straightforward. You just apply. Uh, if you get accepted, route learned, and then there you go, you're on it. So if you ain't got a Category D on your licence? They will put you through your training. And the idea with that is they put you through all your modules, your theory, and your practical exam uh, in the payback that you stay with them for two years. So what then? So pending your application, so you go through your interview, you pass that, you'll do a few mock questions, and then you'll have a driving assessment. Successfully, hopefully you've passed, yes. Get in, you can, you know, one step closer. Ooh. One step closer in like the 10 step path. <laughs> Then you go to a medical, and, we, and in your medical you should take your D4 with you. You should have already pretty much filled it all in, it's just to add the provisional entitlement yeah. to your licence. The doctor needs to fill out if there's anything wrong with you. Um, he needs to, you know, put your trousers down, yeah. have an inspection, make sure you're MOT happy. You went to a weird doctor. I, I think I did. <laughs> I just sat and he went, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, he must, no, have, no. he must have liked my pretty face. <laughs> he must have. <laughs> So you will, you will go for your medical and the doctor will tick a form to say you are fine to drive a bus and then you post it all off to DVLA and wait six months and this is the waiting game now, this is the waiting game everything's good, everything's good the company want you to start work, we'll yep. start training you want to start but the person in the DVLA has not ticked a box on the computer to say you can drive a bus so when they finally when they finally do that and it Finally, arrives. it arrives. You'll get a letter through to say the entitlement's been added, or you can just do what I did and just check every day, twice a day, online. Online, yeah, I yeah. did actually. And as soon as, you, as soon as you got that, you should contact up the training provider, i.e. Arriva, and say, "It's back. I can finally drive a bus." And they'll go, "No, we can't yet. We need to need some training." <laughs> <laughs> so then, what happens then is they'll invite you in to do your theory test. So you'll spend a day or two. Yeah. Learning your theory and literally hard on, constant, nine till five, hammering it in. Is it a hundred questions? Yeah, I, th I believe it is. It's like it's 80 you got to get right. Well, 85 you got to get correct, I think. Something like yeah. that. They might have changed it since then. They might have. Yeah. And then you do your theory, your test, then your case studies. Has a perception. Has a perception. Yeah, I just think it's all in one, that. Do you um, know, when I did my car test, it was like videos, little crappy videos. Yeah, which literally, picked, like, has been recorded with yeah. a potato. But when I did it with a bus, it was like an animation. Animation. It, it was like real life, I know. kind it of. Was, like, and wow. personally, it was easier doing it for the bus. It was, honestly. But Miles better. saying that, then you will hopefully pass everything and everything goes as it should. I don't know, some companies might do it a different way, I, I, I don't know. That's how we've done it. That's how we did it. And then the next thing for us was then to do a practical uh, assessment. To eat with Kev Trainer, and then... Uh, he went through everything. I think, is it about 30 hours? There? About 30 hours, hours if you need it. If you need it, 30 hours. You'll get at least, uh, I'm sure it was 30 hours. 30 hours, and they did, they did say if you fail your first, te first test, they will put you in for a second. Yeah. So it's not that bad. But, but you have to remember, is you've already got a license, so yeah. just stick to what you know and listen to your instructor. And they are the people, they're not there to have a go at you. They're there to shout at you, to tell you what you're doing wrong so you can put it right. Them slow signs. I'm so <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> A lot more time with my ins instructor because it was just me and somebody else, whether Sean, it was him and two other people. Yeah, I found it more helpful because you could see the other two driving. Yeah, uh, obviously. Yeah, but the only thing for me was in the morning I was so tired because yeah. I was working, like literally re revising so hard. Is Kev would be like, who oh, wants to drive first then? I'm like, ah. Not me. <laughs> let, <laughs> just, let Jay just, do it. Let Jay do Dan. it. Dan. Honestly, I was sat at back at bus. So warm on this on this old bus, I got so <laughs> just I, I I I just fell asleep, and all I can remember is Kev just shouting, Sean, did you see that? Did you see that? Pay attention, like, yeah, yeah, Kev, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Don't don't worry, I won't do it. So you spend quite a bit of time with your instructor, who will teach you everything you need to know. Always listen to them; they're there to help you. Yeah. Don't think you know it all, because I guarantee you... You won't. You won't know it. The stuff we don't know. We learn stuff every day doing this job. Yeah. Oh, can't get that bus rack corner. <laughs> well, you can now. Oh. 
Yeah, loads of room for a bus. Loads, oh, wait, of, room, loads of room. Literally, there's that much either side. You're like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. But deep down, you're literally like, oh, I hope I don't scrape it. <laughs> but no, it's that is the easiest part going through your training. Because once you've done your training, you go on your exam and you do it all wrong. Yep. I guarantee you, you'll do it all wrong. Yep, you'll think you know it. You, you, you think you know it and you, and you go for your test and you'll either do really well or, or you'll fail. But the best thing is just taking your time, chilling out. You need to grasp the fact it's a big vehicle, it takes a longer time to stop. And wider corners. Yeah, wider street, corners. There's a lot more street furniture in the um, bus. You, what's the smallest bus? It's like, what? Seven, seven meter, at least. So Easy. What's a car? Say so five? Three or five? Three to five. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's a lot bigger. It's, it's all good. It is so good, passing your exam. Oh, it's an amazing feeling. It's like, it's such a good feeling. And Kev, who were our trainer, it were, were great. <laughs> he went, no, you could do it, so no, you could do it. And then I never saw him again. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we were too busy training other people to spend time with us. But you have to give every instructor credit for what they do, because it must be so scary trust it every time they can hurry to drive your 40 foot lovely gleaming because yeah. training buses are always gleaming it were not what were, what were it, old volvo b10 M? it were a good bus though oh. it were quick i know the bus i had it had really really sensitive brakes once you've passed your test it's all on up from there because you learn a lot in your test but you learn a lot more on the road and doing the job you need to learn all your ticket machines, fair stages, routes. And, and above timing everything, points. timing points is massive. Points. But above everything, you need to understand the legalities of driving a bus. Yeah. You need to understand what's right, what's wrong, what's illegal, what's legal. What can you drive, what can't you drive? Because you can drive manual, yeah. coaches. Yeah. I can't. Can you not? No. Have you, have you checked? No. You've not checked, have you? No. So just you probably could. Probably could. I might give you a look tonight. I actually prefer manual buses. Easier? Yeah, a lot easier. Uh, more control, I reckon. You have, have you ever been in a bus um, and it's changed up a gear and you didn't want it to? Or it's changed, <laughs> oh, it's down, changed a down a gear and, you, and you, didn't want, yeah, you didn't want it to? And I don't know, I just think automatics are great, but they're not amazing, are they? No. I don't think I ever really had a problem with clutch on a, a manual bus. I've never driven one, so I can't say. What I can say, is every bus you drive different. Yeah, that's they why all have the little characteristics. They all um, rattle in a certain way. They all <laughs> one's quick, one's slow. But end of the day, as long as you get to where you need to be on time, that's all that matters. That's that's the part of being a bus driver. We do make the job look fun and look easy, but that comes with experience. We can have a laugh at the wheel of the bus because we've been driving bus for that long. We know what to do. Yeah. You know what to expect. You know what to expect. We know the job, but we're saying to anyone who's getting into the industry, don't look at us now and think, oh, I'm, I'm going to be like that. Because everyone is so different. Yeah, it's, you've got to adapt. It's, if you've come from different lines of work, like what? Factory work, you don't deal with customers. And the best motto, to be fair, we can give anyone out there who's a bus driver now or who's thinking about it, if you can't do it safely, don't do it at all. That is 100%, because if you try and squeeze through a gap and scrape all your bus, the first thing manager is going to say to you is, why did you do it? And I thought I could get a bus through, Sean. Unfortunately, that's... It looked still, wide enough. It, it might I look promise wide it enough. did, it, it, it looked wide enough. Unfortunately, Sean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to let you go. I'm sorry, I can't be dealing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Oh! Must have been when you were kissing oh, me. Oh, the fish dance. Yes. <laughs> a lot of people don't know this, but I'll be the first to tell you now. When you see a bus at a bus stop and you don't stick your arm out, we're not supposed to stop. In, in West Yorkshire? In West Yorkshire. It is met, met, Metro rules, isn't it? Or mm, it's Metro's rules, bus. how to catch a bus. It's not us being stupid. He's just following following his rules. I mean, there's many buses what may be serving a bus stop. How do we know? You're stood there wanting us. It, it could be it wanting bus time behind. to pull into a bus stop, open the doors. Oh, no, you don't want it, right? I'm Sorry. Shut the door. And if that's every person... Out. No one lets you out because you're in Huddersfield. They don't let you out. They, they don't. But they let me out. Why did they let you out but not me? 
The power at cap, son. The power at cap, the Nomi. I need Nomi. a cap. Big lad Sean. I need a cap. Maybe that's it. Do you want to get a try? All right, me cocker. That's too much Yorkshire. No, too, too much Yorkshire. Too much Yorkshire. I've had too much tea. <laughs> it's always got to be Yorkshire tea. It's got to be Yorkshire tea. Don't be, coming, tea. don't be coming at us with your tetlies and your PG tips because it's Yorkshire tea. You're Yorkshire, in Yorkshire tea or no tea at all. It's Yorkshire tea or water. <laughs> in council my house. pop. Council pop, that's it. Council pop. It's Yorkshire water or council pop it down at our house. Don't they know? Don't they know? <laughs> and make sure they turn big lights off when they go out the door. If, if I come into my front room and not turn big lights off, I'll be steaming. I've got a candle if they really want. If they're struggling, I've got, I've got a candle for you. 200 hours burn time on the bad boy. Oh, so big don't be, boy. don't be starting at my house. Hey, don't be getting posh 200 bloody burning hours. I've got them tea lights for about what, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know that noise then? No. <laughs> Ever watch Bullseye? You know? Hey, whoa. <laughs> no, you, you, you know when? Uh, Jim asked some, asked some question yeah. and they take loads to answer and Bully walk across bo bottom of the screen. <laughs> Moo! <laughs> Here's what you could have won. Bum 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 A speedboat! Where do you live? Yorkshire. That's fine Jim, I'll just park it. I'll just park it here and wait for the tide to come in. <laughs> Be beautiful. He's, oh, he's gone. We can go home now. Yep. Back to the point is, do we enjoy the job and are we glad we did it? Of course I'm glad. I love the job, most of the time. It's just people what get on your nerves, but you've got to just ride it past. Don't you? Ride it past. For every, for every one horrible person, there's 50 nice yeah. people. Yeah, I mean... And the people of Huddersfield especially, you are nice. I'll be fair, we're from Rotherham. We used to drive around Rotherham. Uh, people just get on a grunt at you. <laughs> That's just their language though, isn't it? it well, yeah, Have it, you it, farted? No. It's the fresh air there. Hmm. You ever go past the sh a shit works and you go, <laughs> oh, it smells <laughs> like morning. <laughs> Have you not done that? No. No. It smells like morning. Yeah, or you go past it and it smells like Donnery and you think <laughs> someone's had a takeaway <laughs> really bad. I can never say I've thought of that. Well, Truthfully. Well. It's it like, like Popeye Arms holding that thing. Oosh. When I am down. So yeah, back to point. And all my souls so here. Oh, what a tune. When troubles come. That's all you get. Yeah. So your module four. Your, your module four exam is guaranteed the best one. Cause there's no stress. Cause it's stuff you know already. If you was if you were sneaking into a country and you you chose a bus or a coach, where would you ride? They never suspect the driver, do they? Well, no, they don't. <laughs> but they I just check his papers. I just jump on, jump, jump on a coach. I just drive it. Just drive it in, wave them through, and then when they pull you up, up at window. Do you know where I died? Well, in bog. Why? I don't know. I'd, yeah. I'd get, I'd get a sign. I'd print it off and I'd, I'd put out of order. Out of service. Out of order or out of service. Put it on the toilet and I'd, I'd try that. What? Do you think they'd look if it said out of order? Or out of you know service? what we really can't be doing this, can we? Filming a video, how to pick a bus driver. And uh, it's just suddenly how to, turned into how to smuggle, how into, to the smuggle UK. into the UK. <laughs> so your module four exam is by far the best one because it's stuff you've learned through. It's the easiest. Your training easy. I, I yeah. didn't want to say that because I feel bad. Well, but it is the easiest. You've done your well. We did as paperwork side first. Every day you did the walk round check. Yeah. Every day before you drove the bus, so that were in your head. How we did it, we did as paperwork before we did as a driving test. After the driving test, then we did the Mod 4 straight after, same day. I know some people did the Mod 4 before the driving test, I think. Right, so... I think it might not be possible, and then I look like an idiot. But I think... I'm sure one lad... You always I, look an idiot, mate, so it's fine, don't worry about it. But no, that is literally walking around, you was doing your daily checks, and if you ever get stuck on your daily checks, grab your defect card. Yeah, and read what's you. on it. Yeah. So it tells you what to check, but then you need to look at the look what's on your bus. Look at any items you're carrying. There's no illegal immigrants. Any illegal items on there? But if you're not going into a different country, I don't think you'll, you've, you've, you've you. You don't got to worry. It's, it's mainly coach driving. Mainly, mainly coach drivers. Yeah, 
but it's a fantastic module in the hall of the driving test. I want to know what entails of a daily walk around check. He's got a video of it. So have a look. You shouldn't have missed anything out as a professional driver. Just saying. No, I heard Jack. <laughs> I checked after I did the video. It's a bit, it's a bit funny recording it because you have your own little routine. Uh, when you record it, it kind of puts you off. I just feel like you're talking to yourself. You feel like you're talking to yourself. But I just, you know, when you get on the bus, first thing you do is check it. You just start in cab, work around inside, outside, and everything else. Yeah, it's it's easy. You you find your own way of doing it. Like some people might do the outside, inside. Inside, Whatever outside, you... upside oh, down, me. lefty, righty. You know. Whatever way you feel comfortable with, do yeah. it. As long, long as it's right and legal. As long fine. as you know that vehicle hasn't got a defect. And it's safe. And it's safe. You're fine. If it's not safe, don't do it. Yep, if it's not safe, don't do it. Don't think you can do it, don't think you can get away with it. And the best one for me is when people say, oh no, they'll never catch me. They they'll, they'll never they will. catch me. They will, it catches up with you. If, if you don't check something and it's got a defect on it, expect to get a fine. Yeah, or if... If it has got a defect and another driver sees it and maybe management thinks, well, surely Sean should have picked that up in, in Borden. Always double check. And trip, if you're not sure, triple check. Don't get on that bus until you know it is safe. That is the easiest thing I can say. And management will back you up 100%. Because that's because they have to, because the safety is number one for every bus company. It's number one priority. Number one priority. Watch crazy Russian hacker. <laughs> What's that? Have you never seen... No, we're not going into this. No, we're not. No. Hopefully, you'll have passed everything and you're just getting to grips with the job. And make it, and make it a little fun. Enjoy dri bus driving. That time when you, you, you've learnt the routes and you're out on the fir first time you've done the route on your own and you think, oh, God, do I turn left here or right? Turn right, yeah. But you just turn around and say, does where anyone do know go? where I go? <laughs> and they'll soon tell you. So or if you, do, you I turn, do I turn left or turn right here? <laughs> I did that. I did that when I first started uh, two and eight. I got halfway around it. We're like, what were it? An hour and a half route. Yeah, yeah. I got halfway around and I'm like, oh, do I go left or right? And I asked this woman, and she's like, oh God, I don't know. Oh, it's definitely right. I said, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> you can have a bit of banter when you get to know them. We well, you know them, and that is for me the best part of the job. That it is honestly. If you if you can have a laugh with passengers, it makes the job ten times better. It makes day go quicker. It yeah. makes it makes things so much nicer. And I'm not I'm not just saying it because I'm a, I'm a bus driver. I'm saying it because why not be a nice bus driver? Why go out of your way to be an idiot? Or or miserable? Or, or miserable? Or, or just, just cheer up. Yeah, just sat on the. Uh, uh, yeah. One pound fifty, please. Oh, There's no 20. point, is there? Oh, twenty pound note. Oh, fantastic. Everyone knows a miserable bus driver. Or more than one bu bus driver. Was we miserable. know loads. I because know because loads. we work with them. <laughs> yeah, day. yeah. There's no point. It just makes your day harder. And we're we're we're, we're in it for easier life. And I'm sure when passenger gets a bus driver, they all line up. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again. This lovely woman earlier. She come down bus and she went, oh, excuse me, love. I turned around, because I were not putting journey numbers in the machine. I said, yeah. She went, that was a fantastic drive. Um, I didn't even have to press my imaginary brake pedal once. And I'm like, oh, thank you. That's a very nice compliment. That's it, that's it. And she was so thankful. People are. People are very grateful. We hope you've enjoyed another little video. It's We do natter on a bit, though. A, a, li a really little bit. Let's get, let's get go up here, then. Come on, come on powerhouse. Oh wait, I'm sure I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm not. We're up. We're up. That little bit of nails killed us off. Because <laughs> we sit on his ass all day doing this. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. We can't believe the views we got yeah, on this last video. It's amazing. Thank you. And we didn't think no one would want to listen to us. No, I, I won't want to listen to. It. I'll see my beautiful face. I'm so better looking. It's unreal. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, this video is going to be on Sean's channel. Then next week, it's going to be on Sean's channel. <laughs> then the week after, to be Sean's on Sean's channel. channel. We're going to alternate. Oh, there's a castle. Just there. And as well, before you go. Oh, what you got? Well, I'm glad you asked. Are you in a dead end job? Wanting a career change? Maybe. Maybe you are, maybe you're not, maybe you're yeah. happy where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you look at me and Sean and think, I'd love to be a beautiful, good, handsome bus driver like you two. Well, 
Now you can, because Yorkshire Tiger are recruiting. So, ring up, email, and just say, we, Sean, we, we recommended you. We recommended you. There's no incentive in it for us. No, they're definitely not. There's, there's definitely, £500 pound in it for you. You could take a short holiday. Ooh, where to? Cyprus. Cyprus. You could. You could to, really could. You really could. £500 pounds a lot. It's a lot of money. It's a, it's a, but you've got to stay there six months. Yeah, that's the other catch, but that's catch. you'll love it. We love it. I love it. I love it. I love it more, though. No, I love it more. No, I love it more. There is careers out there, and if you wanted to come to work with us, I mean, who would want to say no? Maybe they're in Scotland, though. They, you can't travel to Yorkshire every day. Relocate. Problem solved. <laughs> no messing about. 500 pounds, 500 pounds. 500 quid, 500 quid. <clears throat> I always say 20 quid, 20 quid. Yeah, I always say 20 quid, 20 quid. But 500 quid's definitely a lot more. Actually, I seen on the news yesterday, 82% of the people in the UK aren't happy with their jobs. We are. And you spend most of your life working. Well, if you are thinking of a career change, um, give them, drop them an email, give them a phone call, and they can see what they can do. Yep. Thank you ever so much for tuning in for another long video. But don't forget, that Yorkshire bus driver, the flat cat bus driver. Make sure you subscribe to him and Sean as well. Thank you, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week.